Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Indie Brew, the only show on the internet dedicated to two of mankind's finest achievements, drinking and gaming, and the introduction of an honest-to-goodness beer mug. This was a gift from a roommate who moved out. Uh, if you've seen my deep-fried sushi episode, you will have seen him. And today, we are looking at Woodcheck Hard Cider Granny Smith and Coin Crypt by Dumb and Fat Games. It is a roguelike with a twist, and we'll talk about that when we get to the game. So we are going to get our pour and our smell with our new mug. It has a nice cider color. And it's not quite enough to fill up our mug, but that's okay. Actually, if you can see that, it doesn't even go up halfway. It's a very large mug. So, let's get our smell here. That smells like an apple cider, but there's this yeasty kind of after smell to it. Hmm. This one's going to be an interesting one. Um, this is also a 5% uh, alcohol by volume. So, we will get to the game very shortly. And we are back. So, um, as you can see, a little bit of a different uh, layout. This game doesn't go in full screen, um, unless you want it to go in full screen. There's, options are a little sparse, um, which is okay. I'm about 23% in, apparently. Um, you can see full screen music, auto-choose from chests, auto-choose from shops, um, stuff like that. So, um, there are tons of classes in this game, and first off, other than anything else, I love the graphics, and I love the music. I think the music is really well done. It's very bright, cheery, and kind of gets you addicted to just playing the game and kind of gets you in the mood. There are other classes, since this is a roguelike, I have unlocked some. This is the first class you get, and then there is the Assassin. Damage is boosted, but healing is reduced. The Templar, always regenerating, but weak healing. Archer, powerful fighter, but only 1 HP. Monkey, which is cute. Always use every held coin, but cast slowly. Gets no treasure from chests, but saps enemy. Uh, this is called Shroud, I guess. And this is the Princess. Coins are worth more but attacks are slower. I really like using the Assassin, personally. Um, so, as you, as I mentioned in the beginning, there's a neat little, uh, how to put it, wrinkle to this uh, roguelike. It is a somewhat trading card game roguelike, and as you can tell by the name, Coin Crypt, instead of cards, we have coins. So, I'm going to go through a couple games because I want to unlock a character, because I think how you unlock and, and everything costs coins in this game. So that's it's coin crypt. Um, and there's also a daily challenge, which I think is awesome. Um, and you can see it is May 8th, and um, and there we go. You can see the leaderboard. So I'm just gonna go and play a game. It's very fast paced. It's it's what I like to call bite sized gaming. I can play a run or two, and and then just go and do other things. So combat is much like a regular fighting game. Those were our attack coins, and since I'm the assassin, I do more damage. And combat is faster, in general, than other roguelike games. It's all about choosing the right coins, always having the right combination, um, and there's some tactics and there's some higher level stuff going on, and every time you beat an enemy, you get coins, or they lose if they run out of coins. There are also these treasure chests where you get more coins, so I'm gonna pick up a shield and a heal. And you can see each one has a monetary point that goes down below and I hope I think pretty sure you can see my um, mouse you do need the mouse for this game um, I guess my only real complaint is if you are required to use the mouse I would like the mouse to look like something in the game that's really the only thing I could say as a complaint and if that's the only complaint I have for this game then you you know you can tell it's good so we will get a little bit of money that way I don't. I haven't gotten very far. We will take one attack coin, and there are tons of coins. Um, and you can also we can also see what coins I have. So I have a hit two, hit two damage, hit four damage, heal two damage, heal four damage, shield two, and shield four damage. And there are also these um, blue li blue lion. Um, I think it's supposed to be bullion. A joke on that. I don't know what they do. Um, you give coins to them, and you get stuff. I'd imagine. Um, and we will take another shield. And as you can see, you know, part part of it is, and that's to the next level, part of it is maximizing your money, and uh, I will put up a shield so that we don't take some damage and I can talk, and now we're going to kill it. So as you can see, it's also casting, 
And I, th I think the combat overlay, and we got this hit four hurt two to self. Coin which is common from skeletons. And here are some other coins. Uh, this is enemy drops a coin, which, you know, makes battle faster. This is hit at two, enemy drops a coin. And as you can see, it's worth ten, and I will take this hit four. Um, because they're all worth ten, so... So yeah, there's this level of, do, do I want coins that'll help me get further, or do I want to get coins that will give me a better chance of making money? Uh, that's a robber. I hate fighting them because they make you drop coins. So I'm just hopefully going to kill it in one hit, as you can see. And you draw coins. Um, different items will help you draw coins faster. Different classes will affect your draw chance. And we'll just, you know, continue to loot. And this is basically the game. But like I said, I think it's bite-sized. I like how it's it's fast. And combats are over quick. Um, and there's really no... And we will make him... Uh, we will steal a coin from this pirate man. And then we will attack. And as you can see... And unfortunately, the combat moves really quickly, so I apologize. Oh yes, this is hit four, heal two. I will definitely take two of those because they are worth 25. And I just think they're good coins overall. Um, and I will take another healing coin. So, and you can kind of see even here, I'm balancing how much money I'm making because that determines our score in the end because it's all pooled together. And also my highest chances of survival. So I'm going to get a drink here. Cheers. Yeah, the yeastiness comes through. That's really good. It's not as sour as I want from a Granny Smith apple. It's there. It almost tastes a little like starfruit, too. Um, and you can see we have, you know, locked stuff. We should hopefully be able to open. Steal a coin, drop a coin, which hurts us. Um, but it's worth 10, so I'm going to take and we're going to do a fight against, I believe this is the Magician. So I am going to put up a shield, so you can see how many coins it has in their casting time. And then it pops up, and you can see that. And I will heal, because we took a little bit of damage. And he's doing a caster fast, uh, ca faster cast speed. So we stole a coin, and he ran out of coins, because we stole a coin from him. So stealing coins is actually a, a viable way to do things. I've not seen a key for this, but there are keys, and it can unlock, you know, cool stuff. And there are merchants, but, you know, our, we, we want to make money on this run. Um, that is a magician, like an actual magician. So I'm going to steal a coin because she has four. I think she made us drop it. Um, and we will hopefully... Oh, she dropped all her coins, so we won. Um, but she caused us to drop a coin, too, so... Um, they, you know, anything that you can do, they can do, too. And I think that's a good way to design a game. Um, and I believe that's a... Zombie? There are mimics in this game? Yes, that is a zombie. I'm going to try to kill it as fast as humanly possible. Now I used the, that uh, vampire card, and we got the sickle card hit six. Um, and we got three of them. And you can see, you know. So there's an aspect of almost a Pokemon-esque trading card game aspect to this. Just, you know, you, you want... And I just slowed them, and I will make it drop a coin, and then I will attack... And I will attack again. So, trying to, you know... Uh, and we got a poison card. Um, one of them. And poison in this game sucks, but... There's also regen. There's all sorts of really interesting coins. And like I said, there's this almost this Pokemon aspect kind of... Fighting game... It's, it's hard to explain. It, it, it all works, and it's really fun for no reason known to me. Again, and, and as you see, combat's real fast, um, and very bite-sized, and, you know, you just you travel, you, you, you find stuff, and it has that loop around, I guess. And we will poison, and we need to put up a shield, and heal. We didn't get to heal, unfortunately. And we also got a freeze enemy casting card, which we're going to need um, because we are almost dead. Um, healing is less on us, so we just we just need to, to, you know, be careful. Hopefully, we have a shield card up, so I am going to use hit four, heal two, and then hopefully hit him before he kills us. And that worked. And we only heal one because, again, healing is, is low on us. 
So we got a boost speed, a hit two, slow enemy, and a hit four. And it and we need a um, a key card, and we can unlock that. So it, it pays to be slow after you fight, and this thing will more than likely kill us. Um, or we killed it. We got another hit four hit uh, heal or hit four hit two to us. But we got more healing. That's only a one heal. Another shop. Again, I'm not interested in the shop because I, I want to show you guys the unlocking. Um, but I, I, it stands to reason that it's worth, you know, <laughs> unlocking and buying things. So uh, this thing is screwed. <laughs> and we got four of the hit six, so we're we're gonna be packing a wall up on anything. Um, this is the key, and it is worth fifty. But we also want to unlock this because we can potentially get, you know, the same thing. So. It's very simple, you just open your bag, and it goes. And I think it's really cool, everything is just very simple. That's a regeneration, um, this is a heal status, which we'll take because it's worth 35. We'll take another regen because it's worth 35, and then to attack. Um, so, and as you see, it all it's all about getting that score at the end. It's all about getting a higher score, but it's also about what helps us. So we were actually in the next level. Um, this is the furthest I've ever been, so... I'm really hoping this will hit. She's gonna try to poison us. Poisoning sucks. And it goes through um, shields. And we got a new card. Enemy attacks may fail. Never seen that card before. Very cool. I keep calling them cards. They're they're definitely coins. And here's our shop. And you, you can see rubber shoals run faster, open bag faster, uh, draw more stacks of car of coins, grip glove draw more coins, and yeah, cast faster. Very cool stuff. Maybe next... Ooh, this is new. Hit or heal four. Yes. Um, and they're actually worth... <laughs> ten, so I want that. Um, so this is another one of those awful things that poisoned us. Um, we need to heal. Because we are going to die. Yep, we died. By a shaman in level four. So, as you can see, I almost have this class. I don't know what it's called. Um, but as you can see, it costs money. So I'm going to hold this down, and you actually see all the coins we accumulated slowly pour into it and fill it up. And I think that's really cool. Everything, like I said, everything is, is designed in this way. And I'll, I'll take out the adventurer class. Everything is designed in this way to be the most, as it feels at least, to be the most gratifying method of playing possible. Everything is designed to be fun, but also have and this is gonna kill it oh no um and also but just also be satisfying like i said be, it's it's satisfying to to cast your coins and it's satisfying to fight and the fast fight is fast so it doesn't overstay its welcome i'm gonna get a drink um actually let me do this um i could also do choose for me i i think perhaps that's better personally so let me get another drink come back and now that it's had time to breathe it actually smells like apple juice the yeasty smell is gone now it smells like slightly off apple juice which most ciders taste like because they are slightly off apple juice oh that is so good that is okay now on my second taste and as you can see I almost drank the whole thing in like Two goes. Um, there's a bit of dryness that that um, ciders have, but I like that aspect of ciders, and it does really have this nice sour flavor. It causes us to drop one of our coins, and we can flee, but we don't flee. We fight. Um, so we got two drop coins. We're not gonna have as good a round. I feel. I'm I'm pretty pretty good with the assassin or uh, with the shinobi. So we'll hit two, heal two and kill it and get a shield. Enemies seem to be dropping less as well, so um, this is double use coin next, and I really like those. And I am going to take two of these. I'm sure I'm going to take three of those. So it gave us a nice bit of score. And we will take one of each. And again, each, each coin shows what it does and what it is. And I really, really like that aspect because... I don't even, like, read what they do usually after I use them once. I usually just go by how they look. 
Um, these are just here to um, give us score. But they will. They'll give us a lot of score. So I, I spoke a little too soon, it seems. Um, so I will throw this up and then double cast and then heal. And hopefully I'm, I'm displaying this enough. Um, and we'll cause him to drop a coin and hit again. And see, and he's going to use his coin and he's going to die. Oh, no, he stole one of our coins. Whoops. Um, okay, well, he's dead. So, so uh, as you can see, there's this back and forth. It's all done, vi again, very swiftly to the point where, again, I've, I've, I will do have done two runs, I think, in ten minutes. I have no idea how it ends. I'm sure there's an end, because, and, but maybe there isn't. I haven't gotten for the, far enough to know. And honestly, I don't want to know until I get there, because I legitimately enjoy this game. Um, th this is a, a game that I would love to have on my 3DS or my Vita, because it's just, it is so satisfying to play just on a day-to-day -day basis. But, you know, I, and I don't feel like I have to spend 30 hours grinding. There's no grinding. It's all just about having as much fun as you can. So I'm going to steal two coins, and he's done. Faster casting time, and he's done. So as you can see, we've, we've run out of money quickly, um, but, you know, that is the nature of the game. Everything in this game is done by coins. And we will fight this ghost. Ghosts are the worst, because they poison you. But we also poisoned it, and we are healing, and I do not want to um, use our... Here we go. Our, our key coin, because, you know, obviously, we want to unlock as much stuff as possible, because it has the best coins in it. Um, so. And this is the clear stat enemy status, which we don't necessarily want to do. And I will take that for the most money payout. We're doing fairly well. But of course, the higher cost the coin, the harder it is to justify using in the battle, obviously. And of course, using those three at the same time has been to, you know, put our money down pretty high. Um, but that's okay, because, you know, each each run is self-contained to a point where if you if you mess up on one run, well, there's always another. And it, it doesn't penalize you. You don't, like, start off the next run worse off than you would otherwise. And th I think that's what I like most about this. It is a roguelike because it is procedurally generated and it is fairly difficult. Um, there is secrets. There's all sorts of really neat stuff like that. Um, so it fits the roguelite slash roguelike slash whatever else you want to call it. Um, procedurally procedurally generated uh, labyrinth, crawl, whatever you want to call that genre. It is that genre. Um, and he slowed us, um, which, you know, stinks. We are going to... Um, heal up as much as we can, and we sure did. There we are. But yeah, I, I just, I think, of of the roguelikes that I've covered, and of the roguelikes that I've played, and we're boosting our speed, um, we are going to, and as you can see, it is a noticeable effect. We are now attacking so much faster. Um, we'll do regeneration, and hit enemy. Yep, there we go. And and again, what I'm I'm trying to slow down so I can show you guys how it's how it's done. But when you're just playing by yourself, there's no I'm just gonna sit and you know it's it's all very fast. And again, you don't even need to really know what the what the the coins apologies do. At, at some point, they just you you recognize them by their their symbol, and I really really like that. Everything is designed in a very show not tell kind of way, which if you've watched any of my other indie brews, if you watched any of my other reviews, if you watched any of my let's plays, you'll know that I'm a fan of of that style of of gameplay. Um, so and we're just gonna wait out until I guess we'll just use that time to heal, but we didn't uh, move fast enough. <laughs> Um, I mean, killing killing enemies with running out of coins is probably the worst way to fight. And I guess we'll see what we can do here. And that's going to hurt us, but... Psychosalic seems pleased, but it didn't really do anything for us as far as I can see. 
So I, I, I guess there's a coin requirement on how much it gives you. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think this is a really legitimately good game. It's five dollars, which and we died by the way. Um, we we gave up by using too many coins. So we are going to unlock this class, and I love the unlock. Finds more coins, but they are worth nothing. Um, and I guess this is the thief, this is the minstrel. I have no idea who this weird goth teacher-looking lady looks like, so we're gonna finish our beer here. And also, uh, you play as the class you first unlocked, or at least it switches over to that, which I think is a neat touch. Cheers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that has been Coin Crypt. I am very fond of this game. There will be a link in the description down below to pick it up off their website and off of Steam. It is on Steam. I highly recommend this game. I really, 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 really enjoy it. And um, that's been it. Cheers, and as always, thanks for watching.